Now I'm going to start talking about permutations. A lot of people have trouble grasping just what a permutation is, but I have an example here that will hopefully make things a little bit easier. So imagine you're visiting a zoo with six animals. It only has six animals. It's a very small zoo. Just assume it has six animals. And I'm asking you to record the first three animals that you see. Now in this zoo they have a tiger, a lion, a monkey, a zebra, a walrus, and a snake. And I want you to record the first three animals that you see. So let me just remove those numbers so they don't get confusing. Now in the first spot there are six different things you could see. But now in the second spot you've already seen one animal. So there are only five different things that can go into that spot. And for the third spot you've already seen two animals. So there's only four different things that can go into that spot. If we were to multiply all of these things, we would find that there are 120 permutations of, of you know, ways these three different animals can be combined. Now you can see something like a tiger, a lion, and a monkey, or you could see a tiger, a monkey, and a lion, or a lion, or a monkey, and a tiger. Realize that there are multiple ways of seeing the same three animals. When you're doing permutation, the order matters. Now, for these six, six circumstances where you see the three same animals, they count as different circumstances because the order is different. You see the animals in a different order. So back to this example, there's actually a formula we can use to do this. So instead of counting things out like I did, we can just plug things into the formula, the NPR, where N is the total number of objects you're dealing with, and R is the total number of objects you're picking. Like in this case, we're dealing with six different animals, and we're picking three of them. So I just put six as n, where there's an n in the formula, and I put in three, where there's an r in the formula. Now, you see these exclamation points next to the uh, numbers, and you might not know what that means, so let me show you. Those are factorials. If you see something with an exclamation mark next to it, it means that you're going to multiply downwards all the way to 1. So 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And something like 4 factorial would be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So we go back to the formula, and I'm just going to plug those numbers in, which would simplify to 720 divided by 6, or 120, which is what we originally came up with. Now, notice we can also cross those, thing, cross those things out. We can cross out the 3, the 2, and the 1, and we're just left with the 6 times 5 times 4 that I did before. So what we're doing in this formula makes sense compared to what we did before, and we find out that there are 120 ways of organizing these three animals when order matters. And that's it for permutations. Know what a permutation is and know what I mean when I'm talking about factorials.